All right, so while I'm busy getting dressed and getting my armor on for the kitchen, let's uh, chat about what we're going to be doing because Chef Clement Soup Pedro is with us <laughs> in studio this morning. That's his middle name because he loves soup and we are going to help you elevate your soup experience because we all love a nice, hearty, warm soup when it's icy cold outside. But we have three different ones. We do. That we're going to show you. How's we the do. morning? So good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too, my friend. I love what's going on <coughs> here. Some is this some onion, some crispy? It's some ginger. What is ginger. Some ginger. And yeah. Some, ooh, ooh. some chili, oil? chili oil. Absolutely. And that's the thing. Soups aren't just about what's, what comes in the bag. And Woolies, we oh. know. I believe if Woolies just had to sell chuckles and soup, they'd be fantastic. But they don't. They, they bring us to the world still. They do. But their yeah. soups are iconic. So we've got the classic tomato tomato soup. Okay. I don't know. If I've ever had a winter without this. No, you, you gotta. No, you have that's, to. That's winter in a little bag. In a little bag. And then we got the yeah. pumpkin and ginger soup, and yes. then we got the farmhouse chicken soup. Yeah. So what's in the bag is already phenomenal. Yeah. But with a little bit of creativity and a little bit of a personal touch, you can make it something completely different. Yeah, for sure. But first and foremost, I want mm. to ask you, when it comes to these prepared soups Talk from Woody's, right? Mm. What's the best way to go about heating them? I mean, it, you can't just, I would normally throw it in a pot yeah? and do that. I won't go near the microwave. Oh, you won't? No, okay. I don't know. Because it feels like, no. So here's the weird. thing, right? There's no wrong way. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there are a couple of wrong ways. Don't let me, let's not test the waters on that. But when it comes to heating it up in a pot or in the microwave, whatever's easier for okay. you. I know for some people, because some people's stoves are like, mm, old, eh? When you, <laughs> you have, to, have to turn that stove on yesterday to get it warmed up for now. Okay. So I get okay. it. Sometimes there's a lot of effort just yeah. to put the stove on just to heat up a bag of soup. In the microwave's absolutely fine. Then what we do want to say is get a splatter guard because it will splatter. Yeah. And the trick with the microwave is I put it on one minute bursts yeah. because it's the worst thing Just ever. Turn you turn down the power a bit. Yeah. It's like lava on the top, but in the center, everything's cool. Yeah. Everything's chilled. So See, make sure you do that one minute stir. But again, the pot is a vibe. You want to get authentic with it. Because then it's as if you're making it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Also, yes, yes, yes. yes. So okay. let's talk about it. So let's get our tomato soup. Oh, are you soup. going for the tomato soup first? Okay. Tomato soup first. And let me tell you what I've done in the pan at the moment. We've got mm. some sourdough bread. Ooh, and I've just got some onion marmalade on. So give me plenty of flavors. I could have just done a normal toasted cheese with yes. our tomato soup. But we're going to add a little bit of sweetness to it to ah, highlight the sweetness in I the see. soup with the tomato. The tanginess. So, the tangy, the sweetness. Yeah. You're right, actually. So sometimes we add a bit of tomato, it's a bit of sugar when we do yes, a tomato-based yes. dish. Look, this doesn't have that, that, that tomato bitterness by, at all. It would look at me a mess. Wouldn't look be. at you. There we go. But it's a kind of play on the tradition of adding something sweet with tomato soup. So that's yeah. it. So that's our, our onion marmalade. Look at that. It's beautiful, thick. It's creamy. Oh, that's toasting nicely. Okay, so we're going to go with some cheese. Let's go with some mature cheddar. Oh, you can go with the 18-month mature cheddar if you want. Okay. Go crazy with it. Go crazy. Get some of that cheese on the bread. I say some of that cheese on the Jeez. bread. It's literally going crazy. Because just like, get some of the cheese in the pan as well. Just play with it. And look. It's, it's winter, you need, we need to keep you warm. That's okay. how we're going to do it. So we got the, the mature cheddar for that little sharpness. Right. We want some multi-creamy, cheesy flavor. Okay. A multi-layered toasted Look, bread. Look, again, I'm looking at this and like, yes, we're being ridiculous. No one's going to make a sandwich with this much cheese. I know, but we're doing it for TV. We just want to make sure that you're happy. Okay. okay, okay, wait, hang on. So you say you wouldn't go, oh wait, hang on, that does look good though. But look, I, I'm pretty yeah. sure someone out there is going to go, I really love toasted cheese and I love the cheese element, I'm gonna make it like that. And if you, de you deserve it, you do deserve it. So go ahead and make yourself a beautiful cheese crusted skirt toasted cheese sandwich. So what you do now with all that cheese that's on the side, is yeah, gonna okay, go nice and crispy. Okay, okay, We're gonna okay. take it out. And you see that, that little cheese skirt? You want that, that's I gonna see, go super crunchy, super crispy. Ooh, and it's, it's gonna go so well with the soup. Look at that. So it's gonna be like the crouton that you have on your soup, but it's cheese. Okay. A cheese crouton. Okay, there we go. Are you checking out my soup for me? I'm just making sure. That's what you want. You want it to look like oh. something out of... A, a magazine. Alien vs. Predator, but sure, a magazine. Cool. Yeah, I, I want the gnarly bits, I want the crunchy bits of the cheese. That's what makes it exciting. Oh, I see, like a... Like a... That's a difference between, oh, we're having tomato soup and a toasted cheese sandwich between like, whoa, yeah. we're having tomato soup. So when you soup. say we, we're having tomato soup, you're not, you're not going to say that. You're going to say we're having tomato soup. Tomato soup. <laughs> so in, at home, South Africa, imagine that this has been on the stove. Oh, oh it is actually steaming. It's steaming. So there we go. Imagine it's piping hot, oh, steaming, yes, boom, boom, boom. And then you're serving this to little Timmy. Not even so, little Timmy. So serve that's it to enough for one, right? No, look, it's going to be, it's, it's more than one. Unless... I'm just kidding, because I would, I would literally eat all of that muzzle. You can. 
But you see what you can also do is you can get your toasted cheese in there, okay. one bowl, two spoons. How well do you know the person you're going to share this with? Whoa, if this not well question. enough, but by the end of the bowl, you will know them well enough. Ah. Okay, so we've been cute about it. So, toasted cheese, boom, on the side. Really? Let just it just like live that. on the side there. A little bit of basil. Boom. Come on. Because some, some herbage. You need some herbage, right? Right oh. There we go. Okay. Not that one. There we go. <laughs> for the for the ginger soup, super simple. Ginger soup, imagine we've reheated this as well now. Okay. I've got some ginger and all I did was just thinly slice it for a little bit of crunch. Again, it's that crouton element. Have you deep fried it? Um, shallow fried it. Shallow good. fried it. Okay. Boom. That goes on there and it pops it to the side. All you're gonna do for me. Okay, wait, let's do this first. Yeah, there we go. A lacquer Ooh. chefy drizzle. And this is what takes it again from being an amazing, the classic that we know from Willie's. You doing this makes it your own. That's and that's it. the difference. How, how do you like it? I like it very spicy. Then, my friend, we'll do another one. Delicious. And the ginger has a warm heat of its own. But it's yes. a warm heat. It's not like something's going to burn you. Oh, look at that. Just enough to get the sinuses waking up. And the crunch is on there as well. You're winning. Soups have never looked more beautiful. Imagine this. Just like break oh, my uh, friend. in, face, yes. Oh my goodness. For my soup, we just grilled some baby corn with it, mm. a little, some, some greenage on there. Simple, delicious, and we got garlic naan with that. Okay. You're okay. winning at soup. You're winning at soup. It's You're not winning at soup. If you win at soup, you win at life. In this true, instance. actually. True. Yeah, but that does look amazing. I love the addition of the chili oil. Um, to that. So that's as easy as it is, and I love the convenience mm. thereof. It is so delicious and so fragrant and creamy and rich, and that's what I love because, I mean, come on, you can make a soup at home, you know, but we, we all know that we're busy during the Absolutely. week and we want a nice and soup, but maybe we don't have the time to do it, right? So, so you can go ahead and you can find all of these delicious soup recipes that we've prepared here very, very quickly on woolworths.co.za and you can also find these delicious soup recipes on that website as well, woolworths.co.za plus buy any two 300 gram soups for only 85 Rand. That's a Yo. deal. That is a deal. Even Chef Clem doesn't know what to say to this. And this offer is valid until the 23rd of June. You can shop it in store, online, and also on the app. My friend, thanks for spoiling us. Anytime. You're a legend. Anytime. You're good. Clem. Soup. Pedro. <laughs>